Hello and welcome back to Generate Combat Task, the series where we're taking on the combat achievements one randomly generated task at a time. Last episode we finished out four more tasks in the Elite tier, and then I was lucky enough to roll Novice Tomb Raider, which means I have 25 more Tombs of a Mask at KC to do. A lot of cool stuff happened along the way, so be sure to watch all the way to the end, like and subscribe, and let's get it kicked off with an immediate upgrade. <laughs> well, there's an upgrade that I did not expect to get anytime soon. Um, I, you know, I've been doing Tombs of Masket stuff, and I'm still using a, a rune crossbow for that. So I was just like, oh, like, dragon crossbow, you know, that's an easy thing to get. So I was just killing Addy Dragons kind of just to kill time. 51 KC for the 1-1,000 one, 1, dragon limbs. That's insane that I just got that. I, I got so lucky on that. Because those suck to kill. That's not like, it's like a passive like AFK thing. That's like, wow. I am very happy with that. Very exciting day today as I logged in and found that I no longer have the easy and medium tiers completed and that's because they added in the Scurious boss uh, combat achievements, that new rap boss that just came out. There's only five of those. I'm going to treat this like I've done in the past. I'm just going to allow myself just to go and kill those. I'm not going to like, you know, add them to the sheet and, and re-roll them. I'd rather just finish up the, the easy and medium tiers. I think it should be pretty easy. I've heard he's kind of like an intro to, to PVM, so so hopefully I don't have too many problems with it. Although, based on how the Tombs of a Mascot is going, maybe I will struggle because, man, that's kicking my ass. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't, it's been like over a week of me pretty much trying every day and i haven't been able to get a single kc yet i've been trying to do solo ones i did finish i guess here while i'm while i'm recording um i did finish uh this one i dropped the ball one where i didn't drop the ball i just realized that why is it called drop the ball when i didn't drop the ball anyways whatever yeah you know in doing aka i just didn't move when i had the thing on it i didn't even like really realize i was doing it but there we go i might chip away at a few of these but obviously the main one i'm going for is just getting the 25 kc the other thing they added in today then real quick was all the desert treasure 2 bosses as well uh you can see vardover vardor vardorvis whisperer but these ones are all in the elite here so these ones i'll just add to the sheet and then they'll be they'll be rollable once i you know once i finish this team's basket one then i'll just add in these extra I mean, it's going to be, what, like 12 new ones? It's, it's going to it's gonna chip down my percentage completion, unfortunately. But let's go finish up Scurious. Should be quick. And then back to Tombs. fucking die to the rap boss because I DC'd while I was in the instance. Always on the front, but a rat shall have a good time, just like you and me. I'm from with the tail. Fuck my life, it happened again. <laughs> I can't believe I died twice to this thing. About a rat in Stop the that was embarrassing how long that took me, but there, I did it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back to Tomb of the Mask. First KC of this task is done. 23 more to go. I got nothing. Alright, so checking in from a place that is not Tomb of the Mask, if you believe it or not. But no, I have been doing um, Commander Zilliana kind of in the background as well. Obviously getting, you know, Armadale Crossbow would be would be great. Uh, she's the only God War dungeon boss that I can like farm, quote unquote, because I have all like, the KC tasks done for her. Um, as for Tombs of a Masket, I have completed five out of the 25 I need to do. No drops yet or anything, but I have passively done a couple more of the combat achievements for it. So Hardcore Raiders, was in a, I was in a group of three of us and we did it without dying. Happy with that. Drop the ball, I think I already talked about. That was just killing Aka without dropping a ball. Uh, and then Perfect Head, which was doing like the the mirror puzzle without without uh, taking any damage and doing it in one hit. So yeah, those are those are two great ones to get done. Uh, Perfect Chronos I already had done from a previous task I rolled. And yeah, like I've said, you know, like like the dropping the ball one, that's just like how you're supposed to fight her. Like that's like a normal mechanic. Whereas like the no skipping allowed one, defeating Baba if they're only attacking the non weakened boulders, that's like you know you would only do that if you were trying to get this combat achievement. You know that's that's not like a normal mechanic that you would ever use. So. In that case, you know, I'm not going to try to do this one because that would feel kind of cheating to go for this one that's, like, you know, not my currently rolled task. Anyways, there's my little spiel on that. Back to Commander Zuliana. Hopefully I have a clip show here of getting a drop, but we'll find out. I got the Rune Heraldic Shield again for the hard clue. Up to 275 now without it. I'm going to keep complaining about it until I get it, so you better hope I get it soon. 
I have to talk about this because this is this is crazy. A guy in my in the CC called out a, a lucky imp, and I I I have literally never caught a lucky a lucky imp zero on the surface in my very first one I ever caught in Piro Piro on any of my accounts. Not even th- just this account, but you know all of my years playing RuneScape, I've never even seen a lucky imp. So I was like, all right, that, that'd be kind of cool. So I ran over there and caught it, and I got fucking row bottoms of darkness, a master clue loot, like that's insane. <laughs> Oh, and hey, it's marooned. He just got to called it out. What? What killed me? First solo in the books. 42 minutes. <laughs> this was, of course, directly after the last one where I got all the way to the very end and then died with 10 HP. Uh, will I be rewarded? I am not, of course. Never lucky, no purples, etc., etc. Anything cool? Sharks and dragon dart? That's actually a lot of dragon dart bits. Okay, I'll take that. Number 12, yeah, so about halfway done. Um, yeah, it is good to know I can do solos now, I can sprinkle those in, but... And I wasn't recording, of course, but I did finally get an, a rune heraldic shield from a hard clue. 288 clues to get the 1 in 65, so... Long time coming, but no, that's great for the account. We can now complete every single hard clue step. We have already been able to complete all the elite steps. There is still a handful of master clues that we still have to drop because, like, you know, Infernal Axe and Bando's God Sword and stuff like that. But no, that's good. I'll stop complaining now. I'm making these sounds myself, by the way, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. You guys want to see something cool? So everyone knows that the Steel Baguette is one of the rarest items in the game, given how infrequently you can even get a shot at getting it. It's effectively a 1 in 448 from the Sandwich Lady and a 1 in 256 from the Quizmaster, each of which you only have a 1 in 24 chance of spawning when you do get random events. So if we do some quick maths, the actual average number of random events needed to acquire the Steel Baguette is 3,910. But how can you calculate the number of random events you've gotten? Well, if you're like me and you do every single Frog Princess event, then you can use this number to give you a rough estimate of the total number of random events you've done. So my collection log shows that I've done 63 Frog Princess events, which we can then multiply by 24 to extrapolate out to roughly 1,512 total events. Another way to look at it is, on average, you'll need 163 frog tokens to get on rate for the Steel Baguette, meaning I'm only 39% of the way there. This is all very useless, of course, but I thought it was kind of interesting since there's not really another way to accurately calculate your progress on getting the Steel Baguette. And yes, I know you can't get certain events in the Wildy, and also that it was only relatively recently that the Sandwich Lady started giving the Steel Baguette, but I think this method is still good enough, and I think it's a cool way to get a rough idea. Just got the Guardians of the Rift pet, which also puts me at exactly 800 collection logs. And I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping I would get like a Tomb of a Masked Purple for that one, but you know what? That I will never complain about getting a pet. Holy shit. Hey, there it is. 50 Tombs of a Mask is done. Will I get rewarded or is the combat achievement my reward? That's my reward. That's okay. Man, no purples though. Man, I thought... <laughs> I didn't expect to get one, but I still hoped I would, like, see one. Like, one of my friends would get one, but that's pretty trash. But, there we go. Novice Tomb Raider is complete. So, final stats if anyone cares um yeah i did i did a, a six person one that was a lot of fun but yeah most of them were i would say maybe seven or eight solos and then maybe four trios and a lot of duos with insomnia um yeah it was fun that's i i like um yeah 70 deaths jesus um no that's that's fun that's definitely my favorite raid it's you know it's the only raid i know how to do so that kind of makes sense so that is 50 total Tombs of the Mask at KC between the two. I tried to do one of the, the invocations with like the speed and then I didn't get it. So it dropped me down into another entry mode one. <laughs> that's why that's, you know, I, it should have been 25 and 25, but I accidentally did an extra entry mode. So there you go. Yeah. No purples. Um, I got an extra cache of runes and an extra thread of Illidanus. I guess those are the only two <laughs> things I got. So kind of disappointing there, but 
I will say what's not disappointing is, like I predicted, uh, along the way of getting those 25 KC, we also got this Perfect Scabrous one. Complete that one in less than a minute. Perfect Chronos, I'd already had done. Perfect Het, we got done, that puzzle. Down do Specs, we got done. Drop the ball. Hard And both these hardcore ones, die, not dying in a group and not dying solo. So, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, that that was a long task. It took, you know, over a month to, to finish all those. But, you know, basically we did, what, seven tasks total. So, can't complain too much. A lot of passive progress done. And with that massive task done, that's where I'm going to wrap up this episode. I know it was kind of a, a weird one with me just doing the same kind of raid over and over again. But, like I said, we did finish eight tasks total. So, even though I only did one kind of generated task we still made pretty good progress in the overall elite tier next episode should be out soon and hopefully it'll be a return to kind of a more standard episode type where i'm doing a bunch of tasks in a row so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and i'll see you soon